Hello everyone, I'm back and we are doing King's Butterfly chapter 25 guys. There is a total of 27 so there's only two left and it's so sad because we love this story. I feel like it's one of my favorite stories by this author so yeah and a lot of you have been recommending The Witch by her which I'm not gonna lie I kind of checked out but it's not finished yet so I don't want to do a story that's not complete because once I get going you guys I just don't stop and I want to make sure that I have some Thing that I can finish you know what I mean I did this uh, one story and I totally thought it was finished um, I did it myself like I was playing it myself and I didn't know I would like it I was just like um what's this like let's just check it out anyway so I checked it out and then I realized before I before I even realized actually I was already on chapter 15 and it was the last chapter that was uploaded and it was not even finished it ended on a cliffhanger and I was like son of a gun so I'm not gonna do the witch because I feel like she was working on this story for a while and she starts working on another story and she kind of like stops working on the witch or I could be wrong let me know guys um if it is finished please let me know so I can um maybe start it with you guys and if you would like me to start it let me know as well and if you have any other story suggestions once again let me know in the comments below hey guys before we begin today's video I would first like to thank g2a.com for sponsoring today's video g2a.com is having an incredible blast off to adventure contest that ends on May 6th not only that but during this campaign there are also a bunch of sci-fi games that are on sale as you can see we have star wars games we have Mass Effect games, No Man's Sky, all the games are sci-fi related as you can see and you can also get constellations of random keys which I love because you never know what game you're going to get and that's where the fun is. You can win $100 by sharing your life advice in Yoda speech. I know, Yoda speech. So get creative and study up on your Yodaisms. The contest is really simple. Create your Yoda speech that could be funny, inspirational, serious, or all of the above. Then post it on the three social medias that are on their website, as you can see right here. It's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, under their contest post. And lastly, wait for the results. Also, my loves, G2A is offering us an incredible discount code that allows us to get an additional 10% off during this entire campaign. So the discount code is right here and also in the description below and in the pinned comments. Remember, it's valid until the end of the campaign, which is May 6th. May the force be with you and I wish you all luck in this contest. Now, thank you G2A for sponsoring this video once again. And without further ado, let's get back to our video. Now, if you guys are wondering where the cats are, Lord Byron's sleeping, Mittens just ate and she is also Wow, that was the loudest sneeze I've probably ever had in my life. And I will tell you why. I have a stuffy nose in case you guys can tell. I don't know where it came from. I could be allergic to something or it could be a small cold. Like I said, very easy for me to catch a cold these days, guys. The immune system is crashed. But I'm still doing my games, you know, still going to the gym, working out almost every single day. When I don't work out, I make sure I do stretches or yoga, you know, keeping me flexible, keeping my body lean trying to give more energy into the flow of my body because this thing cracks every time I move you know like the joints aren't what they used to be so yeah don't let it get to my state you guys and now I've talked long enough let's continue with King's Butterfly chapter 25 and in case you guys are wondering as always this is Laura Bryant's Instagram my Instagram our TikTok in this video I like and let's go we arrived madam huh Oh my gosh, she's spying on Venus and Dean. Shut the engine off. See, she's my daughter and the guy next to her is her boyfriend. She moved in with him and since then she hasn't visited me once. I hurt her so much and I'm not sorry. Everything I did was for her own good. Too bad she seems to have found happiness elsewhere. Yeah, too bad. Why would you be happy for your daughter, right? How am I gonna convince her to come back? I mean, you already tried to threaten your life saying you're sick. Should I kill him? Yeah. Casual question. We do not need a feathery carpet, princess. That's way too girly for my liking. <laughs> I'm gonna buy every single fluffy carpet that they have in stock and you're gonna like it. Oh lord, the delivery will cost me a fortune, baby. Ah uh, well, we do not need to buy any others for a while. I've lived in a chili house for 18 years. Mom never allowed me to buy the things I wanted because she only followed her interior designer's advice. Guess what? I hated my room. I wanna live in a warm house from now on, okay? We can buy the whole stock and order some more if you want, baby. Oh my god! so cute, I just want to squish them. You can also have me as a blanket at night. I want to go shopping too. Finally, I can dress the way I want. Deal. <laughs> Let's go. We have so much to do. Hmm. I'm not liking this. But ignore them all. We're finally in Spain. <laughs> you 
jerk. I thought you'd be angry at me, yet you, you are crying. I can't stop myself and I can't even hug you because you brought so many people with you, you jerk. I missed you too, princess. I can't believe he's hugging me in front of everyone. Am I dreaming? How can I be mad at him when I missed him so much? Be mad at him. I missed you. God, I'm sorry. I missed you too. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Don't be sorry. I missed you too. <laughs> You. I wish I was an option saying I hate you. If I could have moved with you, none of this would have happened. Still, it's not your fault. It's mine entirely. No phone calls, Kate. Why? How could you just be like, I'm gonna say no phone calls. Why? You should have at least called me once. Why were you so cruel? I needed to help Alvaro set him free and the business wasn't going well. So what? You couldn't call me at night complaining? I couldn't call you. I knew if I heard your voice, I would wreck my family to be with you. You took too long. I thought you'd never be back. Della, you're a part of my soul. How can I forget about you when you have my heart? What do we do? I wish I can believe you. That one. What if you end up leaving me again? I will stay by your side as long as you want me to. What? Is this possible? You are their boss. They need you. You can't come back to England. We both know that. We're moving to Spain. Wait, what? Grams? Finn? I never liked the British weather anyway. I want my family to be happy and close to me. Wait, what are you guys doing here? You sacrificed your happiness for each one of us. We want you to be happy. The whole fam? If you're happy, we're all going to have a wonderful time. I brought a house for Grams. I furnished the house. I built the house on the beach with palm trees and Christmas lights just in case. Me and Alvaro helped him. All I want is to live peacefully with my family as long as I have left. Della, I want you to stop taking care of me. I'm a grown man. I'll make you proud every single day. After all, we all need a fresh start. We're all here for you, princess. You're all that matters. Really? After everything I've done? I can't let you change your lifestyle for me. That's too much. Our home is where you are, Della. You heard the young man. Now let's get going. I'm exhausted and hungry after the flight. Here, let me help you with your luggage. Nice of you, dear. Aw. My family took my side when I needed them the most. Grams gave up her old lifestyle and Finn battled his fears for me. It seems unreal. I think it's only fair if you stop crying, princess. I'm concerned about Finn. I'm worried about Grams. Finn? I'm worried about Finn. What if he doesn't like living with us? I promise to be there for you too every day. I can't believe this is happening. Why did they make up their minds? When? Grams called me after you left. She and your dad already talked about moving to Spain. They just waited to see if we got back together. They didn't tell me anything. Thing. They didn't want to get your hopes up if it didn't work out. Look at me, princess. You have me and your family for the rest of your life. Maybe it's time we enjoy it as much as we can together. Look, Della, if you can forgive me, I promise to treat you like a princess every day. Too much is going on at once. What if Finn doesn't fancy Spain? Finn is smart. He'll learn Spanish in no time. I'll make sure he gets registered at the finest school in Madrid. Kiss him some other time. Kiss him? I mean, why not, right? He did all that for me. Why not? Gosh, shopping is not my jam. Tell me about it. Wait, Grams and Finn should be in Spain by now. Do you want to move to Spain with them, love? Nope. I mean, I love my family very much, but you're my family too. I'm satisfied here and I adore this apartment. We can visit each weekend if we like. Win-win. True, Spain is not that far away. Yet, I can't believe Finn convinced Gramps to move there. It was Finn's idea? Yeah, he became a changed man. Your brother amazes us every day. I'm proud of him. Do I make you happy, love? Entirely, you're my whole world, baby. I'll protect, love, and take care of you every day. You know that, right? I'm not sure. Is that so? I love you. I love you too. Aww. I love them. They're cute. After a few months. Oh, what's this beautiful house? Finn! Finn! Get your butt downstairs. Breakfast is ready. Finn! That's not Finn. He left earlier. Wait, what? With whom? Raina took him to school today. Wait, what? Raina? Girl! Stop gawking at me, kid. You're pretty. Whoa, are you trying to impress me? Nope. Good. Let's stop for breakfast. Are you trying to impress me? Nope. Wait, are they like flirting? You treat me like a kid. You are a kid. I beg to differ. You're going too fast. Slow down. Am I? <laughs> yes. It takes training to drive with six inch heels. Stop here. Why? Wait, they're at a shoe store? Really? He got her sneakers? I look ridiculous, kid. Della said sneakers are the comfiest shoes ever. I've never wore sneakers before. I bought them for you. Now everyone will say you have excellent shoes. Oh, I'm dying. What? Kate says you have ugly shoes. That brat? Prove to him that you can have nice shoes too. You'll be the end of me, kid. Aww. Ugh. What is going on? He's not answering my calls. Where are my keys? Relax, baby. Raina will take good care of him. I... We have the house to ourselves. Cade. You look beautiful this morning. Don't you have work to do? Nope. Really? Here? Nobody will walk in when I'm home. What if Bella and Victoria come into the kitchen? I'll kill them. You need help. You really, really, really do. God, you drive me crazy. So does he. I can't believe we have our own house on the beach with palm trees and Christmas lights. I owe Kate so much. Everything he does is for our happiness. Hats off to us. 
them. Ooh, okay, naughty couple. I'm so happy Finn loves it here as much as I do. He got used to our new routine pretty fast. Graham started taking salsa classes. She's having a great time with her new friends. She hired Jane as her maid to my surprise. Jane was over the moon because she loves Finn very much. She visits us daily and spends time with Finn. Finn told me that he has three moms and he loves us very much. Kate takes Finn to the golf club each week and they go swimming every Friday. They form new habits very quickly. I was frightened they would not get along, but I think they're both trying to make me happy. Kate is busy most of the time, but the little time we spend together is like a fairy tale. He spends as much time as he can with us, and sleeping next to him every night is heavenly. I miss Tristan and Diana very much, but along the way in life, you have to learn that friends are never going to disappear from your life. No matter the distance. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Where's the drama? Ah! Oh lord! Put some clothes on, will you? Get the fork out! I told you so! Run, Victoria! <laughs> I wanted a cup of coffee. Let's go down to the street to the cafe. El Petrano is about to kill us. Were they about to do it in the kitchen? Are you simple-minded or what? Of course they were. I'm two seconds away from killing you. You love me too much, princess. Dinner tonight at your favorite place? How can I be mad at you? Darn, that smile of his will be the end of me. Boss, problems. Be ready at eight. Ugh. Don't do anything illegal or at least try. Ready, baby? No. Let's do it. Oh my god, is he meeting her family? Diana, baby, is everything okay? Honey, where's my mom? Who's at the door? Great, my brother's here too? All hell will break loose. Who are you? I'm Jose DeSanto, Diana's boyfriend. Oh my gosh. Drama! Oh my god, what a great epic ending. You guys, two chapters left. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later.